Hi, Dr. Philip. Oh, hey, I'm just getting some practice in before my work day tomorrow. That's great. How are you today? I'm doing good, Miss Judith. How may I help you? Well, remember when we went to the mobile unit a couple days ago? Mm-hmm. Okay, say, ah, uh, good girl, good girl, good girl. Uh, just some staining on letter J. You said you noticed a stain on your patient's tooth and I was wondering what does that look like and what does it mean when when you spot something like that? Very good. Let's brush your teeth. Ah uh, yes, I remember. So when I notice staining on that kid's tooth, it's most likely, you know, some deep discoloration on an otherwise normally healthy tooth. So a staining is normally brownish to blackish in color. And when I look at the stain, it oftentimes is caused by a few factors. It could be related to the foods that kids eat. It could be related to kids maybe not brushing. But more often than that, the staining is related to early stages of tooth decay. And when we notice this in the kid's mouth, you know, the first thing that our parents should kind of do is bring them to Familiar Dental. So our dentist will be able to more accurately and visually inspect what is going on with that stain. They'll be able to determine if it is cavities. So if it is a cavities, what we need our parents to do is to provide them less sugar in their diet, brush more regularly, and come visit us at the dental practice more often. We definitely won't, don't want to wait. Uh, you want to leave it to the trained professional to determine if it is just a stain or if it is something more. Thumbs up, all right.